Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to look at the difference between merging layers and flattening layers in Photoshop Elements. Let's go over to Elements and get started. I'm using Photoshop Elements 13 for this video, but it works the same for other versions of Elements as well. You can see by the Layers panel over on the right side of my Photoshop Elements window that I made several layers to create this image. What's great about having all of these layers is that I can adjust the contents of each layer separately without affecting the rest of the image. For instance, if I want to move these inset photos of his hands, I can go to the Layers panel and click on the layer labeled Left Hand to make it the active layer. Now I can go to the Toolbox and choose the Move tool by clicking on it. And now I'm going to click and drag to move that left hand inset up to, to the top of the image. I can also make other changes to just the active layer. For example, if I go up to the Enhance menu and choose Convert to Black and White and then click OK in the dialog box, just the contents of that active layer gets changed. So let's see what happens when we flatten this image. There's a couple of different ways to do it. One way is to right-click in the Layers panel, and from the pop-up menu that appears is to choose Flatten Image down at the bottom of the list. I'm not going to flatten it yet, so I'll click somewhere else to close the pop-up menu. Another way is to click on this icon at the top of the Layers panel that looks like four horizontal lines with an arrow next to them. That also brings up a pop-up menu where you can click on Flatten Image down near the bottom. I'll click off of that to collapse it back down. One final way to flatten your image is to go up to the Layer menu and choose Flatten Image from the bottom by clicking on it, which I'll do. Now look at the Layers panel and there's only one layer in it. It's now the background layer and it contains all of the individual parts of the photo that were on their own separate layers before. So that's what flattening an image does. It combines all of the layers into one composite layer. And we lose our option to move or adjust the individual parts easily. We can still affect individual parts of the photo, but now we'll need to select those parts first. But even if we make a selection first, we have limitations of what kind of changes we can make. For example, if I select that other hand, the one at the bottom of the right hand, I'll grab the rectangular marquee tool to make a selection around it. I can still go up to the Enhance menu and choose Convert to Black and White and click OK. and it converts to black and white just like before. But if I also want to move it up to the top, I can get the Move tool and then click and drag on it and move it up there. But now there's an empty hole where the inset was. To fix that hole, I would have to try to clone in some water or beach area from somewhere else. So now let's look at merging. I'm going to undo a few times to get back to our layered version. There we go. We have the same choices for choosing Merge as we do for flattening. We can right-click in the Layers panel and use the pop-up menu, or we can click on the icon at the top of the Layers panel and use that pop-up menu, or we can go up to the Layer menu at the top of the window and choose it from there. But unlike with Flatten, we have two different options. We have Merge Down and Merge Visible. Let's start with Merge Down. Notice in the Layers panel that the top layer, named Head, is currently the active layer as indicated by the blue highlight. Let's choose Merge Down from the Layer menu. Notice there's also a keyboard shortcut, which is Command-E on a Mac, or it would be Control-E on a PC. But I'm going to click on Merge Down from this menu item. Look at the top layer in the Layers panel. The layer that was there before, remember it was named Head? That layer is gone, and the layer that 
was below it, the one named left hand, is now at the top of the layers panel. And you can see that it contains not only the left hand, but also the head. So that's what Merge Down does. It merges the currently active layer and it combines it with the layer right below it in the layers panel. Now any changes I make when that layer is active will affect both insets. The head inset and the left hand inset. If I choose convert to black and white from the enhance menu, both insets become black and white. And if I click and drag with the move tool, both insets move as one. I'm going to undo those changes by pressing Command or Control Z. Just so you understand, it doesn't have to be the layer at the top of the layers panel. It's whichever layer is active when you choose Merge Down that gets merged with the layer below it. For example, if I make the vertical bar layer active by clicking on it, and then use the keyboard shortcut Command-E on a Mac or Control-E on a PC. Now the layer labeled Vertical Bar is gone, and you can see the vertical bar has been added to the sky layer. Now these are one layer, and I'm going to undo that. Notice the three layers named Purple Line, Green Line, and White Line in the Layers panel. I'm going to click on the Purple Line layer to make it active. Then I'm going to hold down the shift key as I click on the white line layer. When I do, those three layers became active as indicated by them all being highlighted in blue. By holding down the shift key, it will make any layers active between the highlighted layer and the next layer you click on in the layers panel. Those three layers contain the thin vertical lines on the right side of the wide purple vertical bar. Now with those three layers active, I'm going to go up to the layer menu and choose Merge Down. But notice now the wording has changed to Merge Layers. But the keyboard shortcut is still the same, Command E on a Mac or Control E on a PC. I'll just click on it from here. Now those three layers have all been combined onto the purple line layer. And I'm going to undo that. And I just want to show you one more thing with this merge command. And that is that the layers don't have to be right above or below each other to merge them. For example, right now the head layer at the top of the layers panel is the active layer. I can click on the left hand layer to make it active. Then press the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC as I click on the green line. and while still holding down the command or control key I'll click on the sky layer and then release the command or control key. Now that those layers are active I could press command or control E to merge them into one layer. So now let's look at our other merge option which is called merge visible. That refers to which layers have their visibility turned on. You can tell which layers have their visibility turned on or off by looking at the eye on their layers. Right now, every one of my layers has their visibility turned on. To turn off of layer's visibility, you click on its eye. I'm going to demonstrate by clicking on the eye of the right hand layer. Notice when I do that it gets a red diagonal line through it indicating that its visibility has been turned off. Also notice that you can no longer see the contents of the right hand layer in the active image area. Let's uh, go over to Photoshop Elements 10 for a minute so I can show you how that works over there. It's a little bit different. Here we are in Photoshop Elements 10 and if we look at the layers panel I'll click on the eye for the right hand layer just like we did in elements 13 and instead of getting a red diagonal line through it the eye actually disappears you can still see a little box where the eye was though let's go back to elements 13 
I'm going to click on the eye of a couple more layers to turn off their visibility. I'll click the eye for the green line and the vertical bar. Now I'll go up to the layer menu and choose Merge Visible. But you can see it's grayed out. The reason it's grayed out is because I have one of those um, layers that I turn the visibility off of as the active layer. It's this right hand layer which is the active layer and I turned off its visibility so I'm going to have to click on some other layer that still has its visibility turned on. So I'll click on the one right above it. Now if I go up to the layer menu, Merge Visible is no longer grayed out. Also notice that there's a keyboard shortcut, Shift-Command-E on a Mac, or Shift-Control-E on a PC. I'll click on that. When I do, all of the layers, except for the three that I turned off their visibility, are merged together on the bottom layer. Now I'll turn the visibility back on for those layers by clicking right on the eye again. Let's go over to 10 and I'll show you how that works. So over in 10, um, actually I'll turn off the green line and the vertical bar just like we did in 13. To turn on the visibility you click on the square where the eye was before and then the eye reappears as you turn on that visibility. Back to 13. I'm going to undo a couple of times to get my layers back. Merge Visible does just what it sounds like. It merges together any layers that don't have their visibility turned off in the Layers panel. If all of the layers have their visibility turned on and you choose Merge Visible, it's exactly the same as choosing Flatten Image because all of the layers get combined onto one layer. So let's do that. We have the visibility turned on for all our layers and I'll choose Merge Visible and it does exactly the same thing as when we chose Flatten Image. So that wraps up this video on the difference between merging and flattening layers in Photoshop Elements. Until next time, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.